Hey guys, Ashley here from mamasdance.com. This week I'm sharing some more progress on our daughter's room makeover and I can't wait to show you what we've been up to. recap is a bi-weekly video series right now hopefully I'll get onto that weekly track but for now it's been every other week and I hope you've been enjoying just this glimpse into how I work on projects okay the great news is that the screws for the new hardware do fit the pre-existing holes in the dresser the bad news is that I cracked this first knob um so I'm gonna to explain to you why this hardware is a little different than typical hardware. On the left hand side, you can see the old original hardware and on the right hand side, you can see the new hardware. And I mentioned um, in a previous video that these screws are a little bit awkward because they're super bulky screws and they also just go straight into the wood and there's not actually a thread on the wood. So um, with a typical piece of hardware, there's kind of like a little receiving thread for the flathead screw, which this one's obviously really gunky. But then it's just easy to, you know, put it on and take it off as many times as you want. Whereas over time, this is gonna get stripped. I don't plan on taking this hardware off anytime soon, but the cracking of that first knob has me feeling a little bit cautious. So I think I'm gonna try my other drill that does not have as much torque and is not as powerful. And so hopefully I won't crack any more of these knobs. Hey, right, I managed to successfully get this hardware installed and I decided to just replace all of the knobs. I thought of maybe leaving the um, little glass knobs on the top drawer, but I just love how good it looks. And I actually love it unpainted, but I think I'm still gonna paint them. What do you guys think? I did stick with my original plan and went ahead and painted the knobs and I think it's just adorable. it again today I am going to get a coat of paint on this door I primed it yesterday so now I'm going to paint it and I thought I'd just take you along and show you how I do that sure that the color reads accurately but it's always tricky especially with the pink curtains because they kind of make the white look really pink um, 
This color is called Marina Isle and it's a bear color and we actually use it on our kitchen cabinets in our old kitchen before we renovated. Finally decided on a plan for the wall by the bed. I'm gonna take the chalkboard down and I'm going to do kind of a rainbow wall treatment. I'll, it'll be better to understand when I just do it, but right now I'm sampling colors and I can't wait to get started. Thank you so much for watching this week. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, you can always check out more details on my blog. I share kind of a lot more in depth about all of the projects that we're working on as well as tutorials. And then you can find me over on Instagram at This Mama's Dance and follow along in my stories in between videos. See you next time.